everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome my name is Sharita and the name of my channel is unique by Sharita welcome so in today's video we have a haul I have a few items from home goods and Amazon that I want to share with you so let's go ahead and get started there are some items that I purchased for my kitchen area maybe the bathroom as well as the laundry room and also I picked up some items for my bedroom as well as the guest bedroom so i'm going to share those items with you all so without further ado let's go ahead and get started so the first thing i'm sharing is this package is from amazon and this is a shower door hook i picked it up uh, my husband has a tendency of hanging his towel just drooping it across the shower door um, I purchased these hooks. They can be used for a, num a number of things, but we're going to use them for our uh, towel. You can also use them for the little um, squeegee your, and different little things. So it's, it's gold and it hooks on one side and we'll have the hanger hanging out on the other side. And it has these little kind of feel kind of plastic so it won't scratch your glass on the very tip it does have a little clear coating on it so it won't scratch your shower door so i just got one box of these from amazon i believe i'm not sure of the price but i'll put the link in the description the other thing i picked up from amazon and some of these items i purchased a while ago i would say maybe three even four months ago some of these items just like this um paper towel holder purchased it from amazon you can use it underneath your cabinet you can also use it inside your cabinet i'm going to use it inside my cabinet door uh, you'll get a chance to see that area pretty soon i have been hanging the using the little hooks and things like that to hang it and it does have a a little sticky and you can also screw it but we're going to use the sticky so purchase this from Amazon really lightweight my main goal is to kind of get some of the stuff off of the countertop now every now and then I still will have paper towels on top of my uh, counter especially if I'm having a function I want everybody to be able to have easy access to it so that from Amazon it may have been, I can't even remember, so I'm not going to guess. I'll just leave the link in the description. Like I said, you can put it under your cabinet or inside your cabinet door. And we're going to use it inside the cabinet door. The other thing I picked up from Amazon, now I purchased this way back when, but these are the uh, broom holder, holder. It's the wall mount kind. I do want to add a cabinet to my laundry room for my uh, vacuum cleaner, all my brooms and mops and things like that. So I want them to be placed on a hanger. So this is the holder while my holder, I picked this up from Amazon as well. So um, I'll see if I can put a picture right about here, but I picked that up from Amazon. I also picked up, now, I only have one in this box. I picked up, I purchased two of these. Now, this is the little divider that go, goes in your drawer. And it was in the box with this, so I decided to share it. But this is also used in the kitchen. Any type of, um, any type of drawer for organizing. But I use it to kind of hold my um, little uh, divider in place. Because when you open and close the door sometime or the drawer it slides so this is it and it would have kicked out had i did it but it you may have seen these all over but it has a little uh felt pad on each end but it will create some type of organization in your drawers so i picked up that and like i said i got these to kind of hold my other holders in place and i'll i actually was doing a collab with the company i'll share that video in another video actually but those drawer holders and dividers that area has been done for a while i just have not shown it with you all so that's that i also picked up 
these kitchen aid oven mitts now i purchased these probably in january they have been in the package because i was waiting for us to move into the kitchen for my full reveal and these items i'll share again in that video but i absolutely love the color and i love kitchen aid see if i can open it So it was hard coming out because they're cloth in the inside, but they have like a really good, I would say rubber on them. So really nice oven mitts. I, I purchased these. Now, I've always used KitchenAid oven mitts. This is my old set. I actually have two sets of these and they have that, that rubber in line so it's not completely covered like this so i guess this is an upgrade i've had these forever when my kitchen used to be red do you hear me red accents i should say so i still use these they're in my uh kitchen now but these right here are going to be the replacements and it's time so these are really 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 I think durable. So I got one set of these. I picked these up from Amazon. I will leave links to everything I share with you in the description if I have access to them. Now, the other thing I picked up from Amazon were these curtains. And these are 96 inches, two. They are two in a pack and they were only 40. I think they were $40 and they are velvet, really pretty black. And they are the, um, they are the tabs, I believe. They have the tabs on the bottom. They're, they're not the pole tops, but they're the tabs. So we are going to use these in the guest bedroom. And they are blackout room darkening. And yes, they have the uh, black tab window curtains for living is what they say. But I purchased these from Amazon and I can't wait to see. Looks like they're pretty thick. And you can see the tab top on them here. And I like the fact that they're really wide. So they're 52 inches. That's my issue. I've seen some really nice curtains that look really good but they're only 37 inches and those 37 inch curtains really do good for if you want to just flank each side every now and then you may be able to close them it just depends on how they're made or how big your window is and that window is not that big it's just that i wanted a really full luxurious look so hopefully they will lay right we'll get a chance to see uh, in one of the upcoming videos. So that is that from Amazon. I think that's all I picked up from Amazon. It's now some of the items I picked up probably a couple of weeks ago, if they were small and they weren't working for me, I did take those back and just got the store credit and purchased uh, the items you'll see today. Not everything, but there were a few small items I had on my dresser that was not working for me it kind of made the space look a little cluttered so these are the items i'll be replacing them with and here is one of the items i've found these before but they had black i really wanted the gold or silver i know i could have spray painted them but i like the look of them not being spray painted and this small one was $30. The larger one was $40. So these are going in my bedroom on the tall dresser. So, so cute. And let me show you the details a little bit closer. All right. So these are the type of things that they are putting out in Home Goods right now. I went to my local Home Goods. And they were packed. They could not, they didn't even have enough room to move around to get the things off of the truck. And they said they had another truck coming in, a, in the next couple of days. So if you are on the lookout for some decorative pieces that are not all vases, and that's my goal. I don't want all of my decor pieces to be a lot of vases. Although I love vases because you can put flowers and greenery in them. That is not my complete goal. So I picked these up $30 and $40 from Home Goods. Okay. All right. So the other item I picked up was really, really gorgeous. I just had to have it. And I have quite a few 
of these trays. This one is gorgeous. It reminds me of that, um, what do you call it? That one that's made by Uttermost. It's called the PPEA, -E I believe. This is absolutely gorgeous. They only had, well, actually, I saw it several times, but I never picked it up. They had the smaller ones inside of this one. And when I saw the larger one, I was like, oh, I have to have it. Absolutely gorgeous. I think it'll look great on a coffee table by itself, on a dining table by itself, and of course, on a dresser. So this is going on the dresser. The other two pieces are going on my tall chest, but absolutely gorgeous. I think I'm just going to put a little greenery towards the end because I don't want to take away from this piece. So this was for $60. I didn't know I paid $60 for it. <laughs> <laughs> but this was $60 and it is worth it. It's worth $60. It's worth more, but I'm glad I got it for $60 at Home Goods. Now, the other piece I picked up is really heavy. It is a decorative box, a heavy decorative box. Now, when I saw this one, they had two. Let me show you. Oh, it's heavy. So when I saw this decorative box, they had two and they were on the bottom shelf and a lot of people probably didn't even realize what it was because it was on the bottom shelf and something was kind of stacked on it. And I was like, I just want the one. And this is really good for those contemporary girls, those modern girls, really simple, nothing on it. This is something you can just put on your dining, I mean, on your coffee table with nothing else just simple nothing else but for me of course you know i'm going to add a little bit more to the coffee table with it but that's where it's going and it's metal in the inside and it was 35 dollars at home goods at home goods so there it is and it's a pretty large size box I'll, let me measure it. Y'all know I like to measure things. So this box is 14 by a little bit over 10. 14 by 10 and a quarter. So this is a nice, this is a really nice size heavy box. Of course, we like to put our uh, remote control, candle accessories, coasters, things like that. Especially if you really want a clean look. These are the things you want on your coffee table to help you achieve that look. And I still want a clean look, but I like decorative pieces too. So this along with a few more other things are going to look great on the cocktail table. $35 at Home Goods. See how loud it is and it's heavy. So that's not one of those things you gotta worry about anybody knocking over, but it's definitely heavy. Okay, so the other thing I picked up were and i'm kind of jumping around i like to be in in a certain order i picked up these little towels they were eight dollars home goods just some flowers in that gray and taupe color that i have going on in my kitchen area and i also picked up this contact paper um uh, i guess they call it shelf liners i got two of these and I like these, but I also like the black. So I started off with these and I started lining my my uh, cabinets that had the glassware in them. And when I ran into these, I picked up three of these. And I absolutely love the cleanliness of this black liner. And when I got it, they had so many. I went back, I was like, let me get a few more extra ones. And they were sold out of this kind. Now they have the kind with the bubbles, but I'm not, I don't really care for those kind with the little holes in them. These right here are very solid and they were $5 each. This one was $7. These were $5. And this one, how many square feet is it? This one is 20 inches by 60 inches. And this one is eight by 18. 12 square feet and this one is i would say 100 
and 20 divided by 12. This is 10 square feet and this one, that's weird. I don't see the square feet on it. But yeah, this one is $7 and this one was $5. And like I said, I got two of these. You can always use them in your bathrooms or something like that. And I got three of these. So yeah, I may use these in my uh, laundry room. That's what I'll do. Because I definitely want to use the black ones like in the bathrooms or in the kitchen. So got that. All right, so the other thing I picked up were these vases. Absolutely gorgeous. I have two of these. Of course, I was looking for three. Let me show you the other one. And these were $24.99 each. I have two. Like I said, I wanted three just to align them down my uh, dining room table. So these are absolutely gorgeous. It's kind of that bright gold I'm going for in this space along with the mint green or the uh, sage green Tiffany blue that I have going on in here as well. So the other three vases, I did take them off. I actually have a flower arrangement, a real flower arrangement. And and a couple of them so i wanted to add this bright gold color to that dining room table to spice it up a bit so 25 dollars each at home goods and the other thing i picked up oh this decorative box see how i said i'm kind of jumping all over the place i picked up this decorative box it's absolutely beautiful look simple don't it what stood out to me is the acrylic lid it was $40 acrylic lid with this really cute decorative knob. And I've seen these at some of the local decoration and furniture stores for anywhere from $200 to $400, these. So if a person who owned a furniture store or deck those little decorative boutiques went in and saw this, oh yeah, I can see them purchasing it and putting it on their shelf because this was $40. I'm sure they would have got their money back times three. And it does have a felt inside. So here's the lid. I just need to clean it up real good. Really pretty. You can see that. $40 at Home Goods. Home Goods is bringing the, the decorations out. Yeah, if it's something you're looking for, now is the time to probably get out and look because they are bringing the goodies to the store. And this is another thing I picked up. Now, really pretty. I want y'all to guess how much you think this was. Okay, put a price in your head. It's pretty big, let's see. Nice size. They had some that were taller. I wanted this one because it was shorter. It's something I could put on my uh, credenzas or side tables and I can even put it on the bookshelf because of the height and this was $17 it's not metal it's like a really hard plastic and like I said they had some that were taller but I like the gold on this a lot better than I had I like the ones that were, the, were a little bit taller those look like they were spray painted as far as around on the gold part but this one looks like it was a painting effect so $17 that's my style. That's my style. So just a few more pieces left. And this, uh, okay, so I picked this up because one of the colors I'm working with in the guest bedroom is this amber. I brought, I'm taking those pieces I had in my bedroom and I'm going to put them in the guest bedroom for now. But I absolutely love this piece. It was $40 handcrafted in India. They had some other pieces similar to this that were on the magnifying glass, but I needed this look here, I think. So I may or may not keep it. I definitely wanted something in that space and in my home other than a lot of vases. I do love vases once again, but these little things will help separate the high and low of a vase. So this is like your middle piece of any decor setting on your your uh, nightstands, on your tables, or even on your credenzas and side tables. So I needed a little separation. Forty dollars at Home Goods. Okay. The other thing I picked up was kind of in that family. And the funny thing is, I've seen this forever, 
and I think the regular price was $29. I was I was waiting on it to get a little bit less. It was $22. Actually, it looked like it was, yeah, it was $39. And they marked it down. This was their second markdown. Let's go ahead and see how much it was. Okay, yeah. So it was originally $39.99 at Home Goods. And they marked it down one time, the first time, I should say. Looked like the first time they marked it down to $29. And then they marked it down the final price. Well, the second price was $22. So the reason why it caught my eye is because I have some beads similar to this. And I use the a holder to put those gold beads that I have on. You haven't seen those yet, but I do have them out over on this side table. And when I saw these, I was like, oh, these would be perfect just to set right beside them. Keep in mind, I didn't want any more bases over there. $22 at Home Goods. Yes, this is something you could definitely make yourself. This is just a piece of metal and wood and these decorative beads. But for $22, I, I'm impressed. Okay. All right. So I think I have one more piece and... I'm trying to decide if I want to keep this piece or not. And it's a picture. I originally was getting it to go on this wall here because I took those feathers down. So I need something to put up there. And I think this will work. It fits. I, they did have two. But there's the signature. Let me show you. Here is the art. It's 42 inches by 42 inches. I absolutely love the colors that are in it. It has a little bit of rust, some taupe, gray, black, tan, a lot of the colors that I'm working with. We have a little bit of cream, just a little bit of white. I'm not a fan of a whole lot of white, but it goes really well with my other picture that's over there and like i said i did get it to go over here on this side wall because i took those feathers out i also feel that it will work in the guest room down the hall they did have two of these but one of the flip sides to this picture is it has a signature which i don't want to flip the signature upside down I could do a little paint effect to cover it when I do flip it, but two of these pieces of art will actually fit on the wall that's over here where the feathers used to be. So I'm trying to decide, but I do love it. Like I said, it has a little bit of olive in it, some burnt orange, tan, beiges, all of those colors that I like to bring out in this space. So yeah, it was originally $100, but it had a little nick on the top. You couldn't really tell. It is, it was $85 with a, a markdown. The manager did mark it down 15%. You never know. Sometimes they'll do 10%, 15%. I've even seen them do 20 and 30% for other people. Never for me though. It is trimmed in black on the front side, but it has gold trim on the side of it. So if you're walking by it, you'll see more of the gold. But if you're standing in front of it you'll see the black trim either way i love it very contemporary and modern so like i said 85 dollars original price 100 dollars, and this frame is i believe 42 and a half inches by 42 and a half somewhere around there so really large Alright everyone, that is the end of this video. Thank you all for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't already subscribed and you like these types of videos, please hit the subscribe button. Turn your notification on so you'll be notified when I post videos. And feel free to like, share, and comment. It really does help my channel. And be sure to check out the links in the description. Have a great day.